Why, hello there, and welcome. Today we will be playing the Hearts of Iron mod, Disaster, Death of Peace. A mod covering what would happen if the Versailles Treaty broke down. And well, spoilers, multiple nations collapsed. And the nation that we will be playing today is Austria. Okay, so apparently our situation is that in the 20s, pan-German nationalists and communists tried to take over power in Austria. And so the then president appointed the young economist Engelbert Dolfus to solve the problem. And of course, being an economist, Dolfus came up with a very cheap and effective solution. That being shelling the socialists and pan-German nationalists into oblivion. And now, thanks to avoiding large crowds and some radio speeches, Dolfus has taken over. Now let's start getting some German immigrants. New Africa, that's... Interesting. That seems kind of cool. And then we have the Invisible Empire. That, uh... Likes Halloween a lot. How nice of them. Apparently, Dolfo's impressive height of 4 foot 11, which in centimeters is... Wait, let me Google this. An impressive... 1 meter and 50 centimeters has become a political problem <laughs> because the people of his nation and the people of the of the international stage do not take uh, a hobbit too seriously there we go economy fixed and we are now a nation of industry why yes a new people's beer will indeed improve your nation's stability and bnp and that is why our chancellor is now implementing the new Volksbier here in Austria. And it seems to be working, because we have now an almost equal amount of factories as the entirety of northern Germany. Let's have some good old Catholic education, because there's nothing better than putting Catholic clergymen with young boys. Our bonuses don't seem to have an end, they just continue and add more and more and more onto it. And now with the Neue Zeit focus complete, we have finally reformed the economy of Austria, dragging it into the 20th century and industrializing it, and established our government as a dictatorship with uh, paramilitary youth organizations, but also a moral government guided by Catholic principles and with the clergy established in the government. Now let's move on to the foreign plans and begin the creation of an Austrian Southern German alliance called the Östersvier before we move on to restore what is ours. Welcome to the club. Now let's go. There goes Prague. Yoink. Germany's back. That's not good. That's even worse. I am beautiful and absorb the bohemians and that's all the focus has left in the tree only thing left now is to uh, attack Italy change of plans Germany has attacked Baden and now we'll have to go north to save them which is not going as well as first planned in part thanks to my invaluable ally Bavaria who has stationed all of their troops in Hungary, who aren't even in the war. Although it is nice to see that they are not the only German nation with an incapable high command. As who would have thought that blindly assaulting across a river into the mountains would drain your manpower. Pick Bavaria! Finally! That took so long! There we go. Let's finish this. Bye bye Rome. And bye bye Italian army. There we go. Okay, let's clean this up. Fuck you and fuck your bike divisions. Fuck Amsterdam. That's how you advance. I don't know where I'm getting all of these from. Oh yeah, I'm recruiting 30% of my male population. There we go. That's Paris. Bye bye. That's France. And with that, finally, all of Europe has been united under the Ostersphere. 
and I don't want to play anymore. Oh, that took long. Well, anyway, I gave Baden its place in the sun and its own colonial empire, and I even have the Congo for Austria and for ourselves. The rest of the world looks like shit, much like Europe does. And now I, I think I'm gonna go and cook dinner. Well, anyway, see you next time. Bye.